Good day, gamers. Welcome to a Hearts of Iron 4 playthrough uh, by request from the Game Master Games Facebook page to play the Soviet Union uh, in this great game that I enjoy. Uh, so we are going to play the Soviet Union. We've got lots of things going on. Uh, we are communist. Uh, we've got Trotsky plot um, affecting us. We've got Home of the Revolution affecting us. We're playing on regular non-Iron Man mode and historical AI focuses for our first video here. I'm going to break this down into like 30-minute segments so people can watch in a small amount of time. And I really appreciate you uh, joining us. My name is Game Master Dave. You can check me out on the Game Master Games Facebook uh, page or on Game Master Games on YouTube or on Game Master Games on Patreon to support me to so I can get better equipment and um, uh, have more time available to post videos like this. So let's start this up. And this goes out to Jake, Jake, who's requested, like I said, on the Game Master Games Facebook page for us to play the Soviet Union. And maybe that music's a little bit too high, so let's, uh, uh, let's uh, change that just a tiny bit. Okay. Oh, maybe that's too low. We'll figure that out as we go forward. All right, back to game. All right, so uh, some of you, most of you have probably played Hearts of Iron before. I am starting in the 1936 scenario, but maybe some of you haven't. So I am going to tell you about all the kinds of decisions that I'm making as we go forward. And some of the first things we need to do is select the national focus. Now, um, a lot of uh, people talk about doing the finish the five-year plan so that we can build up some defenses and some also there's the extra research slot right there, which is great. Um, but we would also have to go down this tree in order to branch over here to the extra research slot because as the Soviet Union, we only start with three. Most other major nations, if not all of them, start with four. Um, however, I was uh, I watched two YouTubers right now, Count Christo and DA9L. I don't know exactly how you say that, Danny or Dan, Daniel. Um, he went straight for the Great Purge right off the bat. And so I'm wondering if that is the best thing to do. So I'm going to try that one right now so we can get that uh, purge happening. And uh, then it'll end sooner, I guess, is I guess the point. Uh, we got some choices that we can already make if we had political power, which we don't. We're at 43% stability. I see the Trotsky plot is taking away 20% of that right now. Uh, this is affecting everything we got here. War support is great, so our mobilization speed is, is awesome. Uh, we got lots of manpower, at least for starting here at the beginning of the game. We'll change that. Um, military factories 32, civilian factories 40, okay. Uh, this is the new fuel thing. I haven't played much with that at all yet, but we will soon. Um, all right, so let's choose some technology. I only got three research slots, so really, I think the best things to get here is make sure our production efficiency cap goes up. Um, we've got the construction speed happening, and I'm guessing, really, the next best thing is... Uh, the electro, uh, electro uh, here because you know this will give us the three percent research speed so this is probably the best three things to get to start out with sort of at a disadvantage with only three techs to uh, process but um, it is what it is all right so uh, just to get things started we should probably grab some uh, initial infrastructure Let's see, what are we short on our resources? We are short on rubber, which I'm sure we do not have naturally. Is that music still a little too loud? Let's see if we can turn it down a little bit again. Game options, audio. There we go. I think that's probably a little bit better. Close. All right, so we were going to build some infrastructure right off the bat. Um, let's see what we got. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, all right, so... I don't know exactly know where all the factories are. Moscow would be good for some infrastructure. Let's at least get something going here in a few areas. Close to home and also where there's resources. So uh, that oil would be good. I can see I only got one. There. there we go. That's, oops, that's okay. Let's see if I right click on that one. Let's do that one. 
7 out of 10. Oh, yeah, let's increase some of these guys down here. We can get a whole bunch of more um, oil and stuff like that from here. All right, so now at least we got something starting. Let's check back, go back to our resources. Oil, we got a fair amount, 96. Um, we're exporting 97 here, but uh, let's check out military factories, what we have going on here. Um, I like to collapse all the production lines. Uh, people like to do different things, but I like to do this. So we are short some equipment. We're upgrading some fighters. Um, we are building just two of these. We're going to let those run out, I think. And we got six out of six naval dockyards. So we've got a fair amount of, um, factories we can put into, we'll just put it all into infantry equipment because we're going to need a lot. I can see we're not making support equipment. Oh, no, there it is. Okay, great. Um, now... We should take a look at what we have going on here. So um, actually, let's go to edit to see what we got for our basic infantry division. All right, nine battalions, 18 width. We can't really adjust anything right now. Um, but let's train a whole bunch here. Add unit. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. This is what I wanted to do. And let's uh, train a motorized and train a armor and see what we come up with. And we can train some NKVD. I believe, let's check out the edit. Yes, they do have the military police there, starting with the military police. All right. So we haven't set a location for them to go yet, but that's okay. Um, all right. We're pretty much ready to go, so actually let's start the game. And the only other thing we're going to do is we're going to try to box out all of the uh, units and assign them to one of these things here. Now I noticed in uh, Count Christo's... Oops, that, I did the wrong thing. I noticed in Count Christo's he like assigned all of the uh, units to one division and um, then did a whole bunch of fallback lines and worked off of those. So uh, I guess we're going to see how that works. I made a couple mistakes. I was experimenting with earlier videos, and I made a couple mistakes how that all operated. Um, so oh, I'm going to probably make more mistakes than how it's all done, but we'll figure it out as we go forward. Thank you so much for watching. Um, we're going to increase speed and stuff like that too as we go forward. But we're just getting ready. Oh, you know, I wanted to do this live so that people could chat with me and talk to me about what's going on. Um, and I didn't do that, but that's okay. I'm hoping to do future videos live, too. All right, so now let's check our resources because we are down uh, this. And we want to possibly uh, fifth column. All right, so something came out about the Trotsky plot. Uh, let's see, Dutch East Indies, we should feel pretty safe uh, getting, some, uh, getting some rubber from. And with that said, let's, let's increase it to 2, speed 2, and we, we'll even go to, go to 3 a little bit later on, but let's set up some of our navies and make sure everything's okay. And uh, airplanes too. Now, I noticed with the planes that... Um, what Count Christo and uh, Dan or Danny, I, I wish I knew exactly how his name worked, uh, his name was, um, how they uh, basically went to the planes and um, basically got rid of all of their units and then rebuilt them as they needed them. I, I, I just I didn't know I, I didn't know what's what's actually better to do with that or not so what i like to do is it takes a little time but what i like to do is essentially increase all these to 100 and then i can see where i'm at oh i forgot this press set limit 
And I also noticed that they um, they really concentrate on fighters a lot, which is fine. which I'll be doing as well. I'm hoping that with, uh, as I post some of these on YouTube and I, I watch some of the other YouTube channels and I'm waiting to get um, involved with uh, some of the other players, you know, I hope I can join some multiplayer uh, events and even learn more about Hearts of Iron. But hopefully this series is helpful to somebody as um, you'll learn a little trick of the trade or something that I, you see me doing. Now here I actually had more than 120, so I put these back into uh, stock, these mm -hmm. tactical bombers, uh, 20 of them. And then I can actually move them around. And this will tell me a, like what I'm short of mm -hmm. to try to uh, get to the levels that I need to get to. See, now this is actually telling me right now I'm missing a naval bomber and a tactical bomber. So we can go back to production. And if we have enough rubber, looks like we might. So um, we've got fighter ones. Let's go look at some technology here because we want to make see that we can get fighter twos probably. Okay, so we can't get the fighter two until 1940. We could get the close air support. Let's look at some of these. We probably want to upgrade this tactical bomber somewhat soon. And we're definitely going to want to concentrate on some of these other things that we have here. Uh, you know, the um, the doctrines. So I haven't chosen a doctrine here. So mobile warfare or superior firepower or grand battle plan. That's going to be an interesting choice for me. Uh, I don't know what no normally people take, so... Noble Warfare, I guess, would be more technically like the German kind of thing with a um, Blitzkrieg. Uh, superior Firepower, I guess, could be pretty good. Uh, but I have a lot of men. So let's see. Focus on shells, not men. Is the, uh, at the enemy, our manpower is precious. Bullets are cheap. Um, let's see. This one gets me entrenchment speed, which is really good. This one gets me... Soft attack, which is very good, and this one gets me... I'm probably not going to have that many tanks early on. Oh boy, so I don't know which one to do. Max planning, this gets me defense, breakthrough, I could go either way here. Infantry offensive, this might be the way for me to go. Supply consumption minus 10, that's good. Night attack, that's good. That's good. Uh, may not have that re many recon elements. This is pretty good too, so... Hmm. Don't know. We'll figure that out soon, of what, which one I'm going to choose there. All right, so we got six destroyers and six subs. We can move the destroyers probably down here. Put them with this other fleet. Actually, the subs I probably want to keep up here. Where do those subs go? Okay. And then I can probably give a, an order. Actually, we can open the task force editor. Uh, I don't need to add anybody here. I want to I want to give myself 20 subs up here. So now when I, new subs are built, they're going to be brought up to this location. And... Uh, I don't want to move. Let's see. What am I doing? We'll sign a commander. Oh, did this... Okay, we just got the subs only. Okay. 
We're going to come back to that missing equipment. I still got the naval bomber and tactical bomber I'm missing. Good, that's just one. One rubber and tactical bomber. Let's bring that up. Okay. Probably don't need strategic. Well, it says I got reinforcement for strategic bombers, so I gotta have air superiority to let the tactical bombers and the other things work out well. Let's see what we got down here now. We have four subs, so again, let's do that template, try to get them up to 20. They're gonna try to control the Black Sea quite a bit. And this one is one battleship and four light cruisers. Not, not a whole lot. And they've got a battleship and two destroyers. Actually, what I could is I could unclick that, and then I can merge these two. All right, so we've got some of this stuff set up. These subs, I also... Oh, I got 21 subs. So let's make that 20. So one of them is going to go somewhere else. All right. All right, so now we can do check out the planes. Let's go to our plane overall map. And we really've got, we can set 2,000 here. So we might as well move everybody up to this airport. And we can send them out as we need. All right, let's see what we got over here. We got some planes over here. I forgot about them. Actually, there you go. So they're setting the limit at 100. And they're going to go here. And they both can go over here to Moscow. All right. All right, very good. 21 political power. So let's take a look at some of the things. So you're working on the Great Purge. This is going to be a long time. This is 210 days. So uh, we can go back over here and look at some of the stuff that we might want to start out next. Stalin Constitution. Uh, gives me 160 political power, so I can change something. But this gives me two building slots. Um, Got to be at war to get that one. This gives me two mil some military factories. This gives me uh, a research slot, but i got to have this. And instead of doing this one, I've got to do this one, which is okay. Um, this means, like, exclusive. So I can either, if I do this one, I can't do this one, and vice versa. All right, so I'm Game Master Dave. Thanks for watching so far. Um, I hope to do more chats in the future, so that way you can um, check out what I'm doing and send me some advice or ideas uh, to change things. Um, that would be fantastic. All right, so now um, still got 55 days on that one. Uh, we're good here. We are good here. Uh, we're we're short 30,000 unbelievable but that is what it is let's go back to our recruit i noticed that um one of the things that uh DA9L did which i thought was uh was curious was when he made a unit he um when he made a unit Actually, he didn't start making units right away. And I guess part of the reason is because, look, there, I have no equipment. So there's no reason to try to start making a unit because we don't have anything. We don't have enough. And then I noticed what um, 
uh, other people did was like uh, in order to join the the war uh, the civil war in Spain I noticed that um, uh, I noticed that Count Cristo essentially did a whole bunch of um, uh, a whole bunch of uh, actually, he did mountain. In one of the videos I saw, he did mountain uh, mountain troops. Oh, everything was a mountain troop. That was pretty wild. But I did also notice that um, that uh, uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> okay, oh, well, that's fine. <laughs> All right. So what I what I thought about doing was making a fallback line, essentially, for tanks and. Um, and for cavalry that I can use to essentially run up and uh, do what I need to do. And maybe I would put motorized also in this fallback line. That's what I did wrong. So mountain, I want to send down south. Because we've got lots of mountains down here. So mountain, let's do another fallback line down here. Just getting stuff organized. Not too exciting right now. Okay, and then around Moscow, I want to do another fallback line for all my NKVDs. And basically, this is just a way for me to organize uh, stuff in these areas. Okay. Now, I wonder if it's better to have different, you know, units. I noticed that they keep all of them in one unit, and I was wondering why they did that. Um, so if you can actually respond in the chat messages here, if you happen to watch this video... Uh, you can help me out and teach me something new. Now, another thing that I, 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 I have considered doing in the past is turning all of the cavalry to infantry. And I just don't... I, I can do that, and I probably should, but I um, don't know if... I don't know if it's worth it right away, because I don't have the equipment anyway.
So now I got a bunch of guys that, oh, there's one in KVD that should go up here. NKVD is sort of like your police force. At least that's how it initially is set up. Oh, I can double-click all the cavalry and get them all there. I see. I didn't even know I could do that. Well, that's good to know. Man, you got there's so much to this game. There's so much to know. Do, 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 do. All right, let's start making some front lines. Oh, duh, that's not me. All right. Do, 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 do. <laughs> what kind of odd sound is that? All right, let's see who else we got. Okay. Whoops. Okay, he's here. No, I'm looking for ports now and stuff. We got to protect our ports. Uh, so, and eventually we got to probably protect our coastline also. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, so now let's go get, let's find out how much, right. Let's go see how much we can send over there. Send volunteers, we can send five. So let's send three tanks and two infantry. Let's check that out. So let's go to the tanks. All right, and let's grab two infantry. Let's add a leader here. Zukov looks good. All right, and then let's send them to be volunteers over here in Spain. Uh, we'll generate 1.1 1 .1 threat. Okay, anyway, I just wanted to uh, play for about 30 minutes and upload this to YouTube and see if we get some interest and some chat. And so send me some feedback and ideas and whatever else you like. I really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching another uh, YouTube uh, Game Master Games YouTube Live with myself, Game Master Dave. And until we meet again over the internet, uh, keep your keyboards dry your uh, i totally forgot what i was gonna say i had some really good ones i had a good one to end i end my youtube channel with a whole bunch of stuff so i think it's keep keyboards keep keep your mice ready your your keyboards dry your mice ready and uh may your peasants be strong there we go totally forgot all right thanks so much and have a good night